Well, that's the ICP pressure sensor. And um, one of the symptoms of, of a sensor going bad are, uh, are uh, actually not even a symptom. One of the pieces of evidence to start thinking about replacing that sensor is that the presence of oil at the uh, in the electrical connector. And sure enough, when I went on through here and checked it on out, you can see this thing is just wet with oil. So I'm going to go ahead and replace this and uh, keep this, this sensor in here as a spare. Um, I would highly recommend that you get the, the uh, OEM style uh, uh, pressure sensor. If you look online, you there have there is at least one story where uh, somebody bought the cheap uh, eBay one and threaded on in and anyway it, it shot out and uh, did some damage. So um, just don't cheap out on this. You don't want to be on the side of the road for fifteen, sixteen dollars. Just pay the hundred and forty, whatever it may be, and get yourself an OEM quality one. So I'm going to swap this one out, like I say, and, and uh, keep it as a spare just in case uh, it goes out. And I should also say that uh, one other piece of evidence is that when it is cold outside and I'm pulling it out from a stop, I can uh, I can hear it kind of go uh, rev up and down. And uh, again, that's at idle. So uh, that's another piece of evidence that that sensor may be going bad. So like I say, I'm going to swap this on out and uh, I think that'll be pretty much it. There's, there's, there's a, uh, videos on, on how to do it. It's just a matter of getting a wrench, a short wrench on the base of that and unscrewing it. And then, uh, of course, uh, it has a much bigger nut, I guess you can say, on the, on the face of it. So it makes it easier to put it on in. And this one, it looks like it's the original one. So that's it. Uh, thanks for watching.